Welcome to part one of a three-part tutorial series on the Lane Geometry Input Dialog in Sidra Intersection 7. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use this input dialog to specify lane configuration and lane disciplines in Sidra Intersection 7 using a roundabout site as an example. Note that the Lane Geometry Part 1, 2, and 3 video tutorials on different intersection types can be viewed independently. For demonstration purposes, we will continue using the roundabout site modified in the Intersection and Movement Definitions video tutorials. Open the project Site Input 2R and save it as Site Input 3R. Select the Roundabout site in the Project pane. Rename the site as Roundabout 3R and then save the project. Click the Layout command in the ribbon to view the picture of the three-leg roundabout. If you have not gone through the steps described in the tutorials for the Intersection and Movement Definitions dialogs, here is a summary of what has been demonstrated so far. We added a two-lane roundabout site to a new project. In the Intersection dialog, we modified several parameters and deleted the north leg. In the Movement Definitions dialog, we added buses and taxis as new movement classes and assigned a U-turn movement to one of the legs. It's very important that you use the Lane Geometry dialog to specify lane configuration and lane discipline data immediately after the Movement Definitions dialog. Click Lane Geometry in the Site Input section to open the dialog. Click the View Layout button at top right to view the layout picture to the right of the dialog. As you select Approaches and Lanes in this dialog, the selected lanes will be highlighted in the layout picture. You can view the updated layout picture as you make changes to the lane configuration. The first tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Configuration tab. The Approach selector displays the diagram of the roundabout configured in the intersection dialog. The Lane Editor displays the approach and exit lanes for the leg selected in the Approach selector. Approach and exit lane numbers are shown in the Lane Editor display. You can select an approach lane or an exit lane by clicking a lane using the F2 and Shift F2 keys or using the mouse wheel. You can configure the selected lane using the parameters in the Lane Configuration data group. Approach lanes, exit lanes, and strip islands can be added or deleted in this dialog using the command buttons below the Lane Editor picture under both the Lane Configuration and Lane Disciplines tabs. Add and Delete functions are also available when you right-click a lane or strip island in the Lane Editor picture under both tabs. Let's first create approach and exit lanes allocated to buses and taxis only as a bus priority lane example. Click Approach Lane 2 of the south leg in the Lane Editor to select it. Then click the right arrow on the App Lane command button to add an approach lane to the right of the selected lane. Alternatively, Right-click Lane 2 and select Add Approach Lane to Right from the drop-down list. Select New Lane 3. Keep the lane configuration as Full Length Lane. Then, from the drop-down list in the Lane Type field, select Slip Bypass Low Angle. Insert a Lane ID and change the color. Now, let's delete Exit Lane 2 on the South Approach. Let's now add an exit lane for the buses and taxis. Select Exit Lane 2 on the east leg. Then click the left arrow on the Exit Lane command button to add an exit lane to the left of the selected lane. Alternatively, right-click Lane 2 and select Add Exit Lane to Left from the drop-down list. Enter the same ID and color used for the approach lane. For roundabouts, the Splitter Island object is included automatically to separate the approach and exit lanes. 
it cannot be deleted. It will be removed automatically when the leg is changed to one way and inserted automatically when the leg is changed from one way to two way in the intersection dialog. Let's change the width of the splitter island on the east and west legs only. You can change the fill style if you wish. We leave it unchanged in this example. The roundabout geometry specifications for this example are incomplete and they will be finalized in the roundabouts input dialog video tutorial. The second tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Disciplines tab. Click the tab to allocate all origin destination OD movements by movement class to appropriate lanes. You must allocate each movement class to at least one lane on any approach. Check the movements on the layout display as you allocate them to approach lanes. Select the east leg and allocate the U-turn movement to lane 1 by checking the boxes for both the light and heavy movement classes. To allocate the movement from south to east for the buses and taxis, select Approach Lane 3 of the south leg. First, uncheck the boxes next to light and heavy vehicles. Then, check the boxes next to buses and taxis. You can also click the arrow only once to check all the boxes and then uncheck the boxes next to the light and heavy vehicles. To allocate light and heavy vehicle movements from south to west, select Approach Lane 2 and check the relevant boxes. By default, the Lane Editor displays OD movements by all movement classes on each lane. The drop-down list, Show Lane Disciplines By, helps to check lane disciplines when different classes are allocated to different lanes. The third tab in this dialog is the Lane Data tab. It includes the approach lane data for all site types. When the site is a roundabout, as in this example, the additional roundabouts group will appear. For detailed description of the parameters available under this tab, please refer to the user guide. When the lane geometry specifications are completed, click OK to close the dialog. Save your project. Clicking the Process button at this stage will give an error message. Other necessary data specifications must be completed in the remaining input dialogs before results are obtained. This concludes Part 1 of our tutorial on the Lane Geometry Input Dialog in SIDRA Intersection 7. Please refer to the other tutorials in this series to learn how to configure the Lane Geometry for a two-way sign control site and a signalized intersection site.